Hi everybody and welcome to a very special and brand new edition of me. On this one, I have something special planned for all you viewers out there today. I'm going to introduce you to my roommate, Vince. Hey, yeah, my name is Vince and yeah, whatever. Now, before you guys ask, he really does sound like that, and yes, I know it is sad. To me, it's almost like he sounds like a, um, um, a stone surfer. Sound like what, man? You just don't understand how much stress I deal with. I don't have to work and I can basically do whatever I want and since I'm on disability. I mean, you don't know, man. I don't have kids or girlfriends, no restrictions. I can basically live my life however I want and have so much stress though, man. You don't get it. What I deal with. I mean, fuck. You see what I deal with? This guy is possibly the most negative person I've ever met in my entire life. And he throws what I have decided to call mantrums. I will be sitting in my room watching TV or whatever, and then out of nowhere I will hear him screaming and throw a fit for no apparent reason whatsoever. And usually it's over the stupid shit. Oh wait, I think he's throwing on one one right now. Let's go watch! Motherfucking goddamn piece of shit every fucking time, so much stress, goddamn, and tired of fucking shit. All they do is deal with fucking shit. Everybody fucking is out to get me, motherfucker, goddamn piece of motherfucking... Fuck shit, fuck, god damn it, fuck, 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 god damn pieces of shit, god damn it, every fucking time. Again, you see what I put up with? This guy is so much of a tool that he's come up with imaginary food allergies. I used to be able to eat whatever I want, and now I just can't. I now eat shitty rip-off food from Save-A-Lot and shit. Fresh veggies and stuff like that, it just makes me sick, man. I have this weird freaking food allergy all of a sudden, but I'll get over it. Man, you just don't know, like, the stress. Are you fucking kidding me right now? The stress? You do nothing! You stay in the house all day long, writing shit down, and then throwing fits, and then singing poorly. Very poorly, mind you. That's it. No one talks to you. You don't even have to worry about pretty much anything, because the government fits the bill because you're on disability. But hell. You don't even have to worry about Obamacare like the rest of us do. They pay for that too. What the fuck stresses you out, man? Seriously. Things reached ahead about two weeks ago, when after a long day of work, I come home to find an envelope on the dining room table. Joe, man, I have a few things I need to bitch about, and I'm not good at talking to other people, so I wrote them down, man. You're too messy, and even though I said you're okay. And oh, remember when I drank all your instant coffee about four months ago? Yeah, I like replaced it twice and didn't tell you, even though I s you said I could have like one cup and stuff, and I decided that meant I could finish off a full jar and then leave it empty when you finally wanted one like a month or so later. So, yeah. Oh, and remember those clothes I gave you that I gave you? I said I couldn't have them anymore because they just stressed me out and I was gonna throw them away. Well, uh, yeah, I, uh, I feel bad because I blew 300 bucks on those and I need them back now, even though it's been like two or three months because, you know, the stress, man. No, mind you, I ad lived that a bit, but the basic gist of it was he was bitching about stupid shit and telling me the clothes I'd been wearing and some I'd actually needed I had to return due to stress again. He had even given me two pairs of khakis, and I work at Target, and khakis is part of your regular attire, so I needed those. I physically needed those. And I told him I needed them, and I said, you gave them to me, I need them, and this was his response. You can have, like, one pair, bro, but, um, you're gonna have to pay me for them. One thing I forgot to mention in my last vlog was the main driving force of me finding a better job isn't just having a better life and getting out of Target. Oh no, it's getting rid of his stupid ass motherfucker so I can just have my house to myself again and don't have to deal with his ridiculous amount of bullshit. Right now I can't afford to pay rent without him, and once I can make it on my own, I'm gonna kick him out so damn hard. And it's just, it's, it actually stresses me out sometimes having to deal with his idiotic version of stress. I, I just, I, I don't need it, you know? I come home, I deal with bullshit from other people all day long, and I don't need to come home to his bullshit on top of everything else. 
I, I didn't sign on for that. Actually, the only reason he's still here and I haven't kicked him out is because he follows the most important basic rules of being a roommate. And that is, he pays the rent on time, he's never stolen from me, he's never broken my property, unless you count that one time he broke my toilet seat. During one of his mantrums, he slammed the fucker down so hard it cracked right down the middle. Ah, oh, man. So, needless to say, I'm, in the meantime, looking for another roommate, possibly. I prefer just a better job so I could actually live by myself rather than even needing a roommate, but it is what it is. Alright guys, well, that'll about do it for this time, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one and expect a new one soon. Till next time!